Hello my lovely air signs, welcome to your mid-month reading for March 2019. It's me Laurie and thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm going to be looking at Gemini, Libra and Aquarius and I would recommend that you just have a look at all the aspects of your sign. I'm going to be pulling two cards um, of your chart, sorry. I'm going to be pulling two cards from the Enchanted Tarot and then one card from the Whispering Woods Oracle. So I'm going to start with Gemini and if you'd like a reading from me you can do so in the description box below or get in touch by checking out any of the information down below. Okay, okay, let's see what's coming through for you Gemini. All right. And let's see, what does Gemini need to know for the month of March? What does Gemini need to, what? Okay, right, that one apparently. So let's see what's going on. Why not? Let's see, a Three of Pentacles and the King of Hearts. So the Three of Pentacles is very much about teamwork, collaboration maybe communication a little bit more between all of you. There is a feeling around this Mercury retrograde um, because it's in your 10th house of career and your visible actions and your reputation. You're showing people how things are done. You're kind of in the zone, I would say, at this moment in time, which is sort of um, minding your business. You know, you're keeping things calm you're collaborating you're fine you're open you're friendly you're enjoyable you're supporting your friends that's basically all you need to be really for the rest of this month um but it does feel like there's still room for communication there's still room for you know your skills to improve i think this is also something that you're looking to do improve your skills and increase this creative flow maybe a little bit more than has been recently. And the good news is you do get a chance to do that on the 21st of March when the full moon goes into Libra. And that's gonna be on in your fifth house of creativity and spiritual practice. So that could be something where you look upon things in a different way and see that you want to dress things up a little bit differently because the King of Hearts or the King of Cups could be relationship advice from somebody who is a water sign so it could be a Scorpio, Cancerian, even a Pisces or it could be an aspect of your chart that's giving you this sense of well-being, motivation, the sort of emotionally balanced connection and you may even feel like you want to communicate your emotions a lot more so it could even be that you want to include people in your choices, in your romantic endeavours, maybe even giving some advice yourself but I feel like a lot of this is to do with with your self-love as well so it could be that you are collaborating with somebody to make them feel good or planning a surprise party for a water sign or doing something that you are trying you know you want to get things into motion a little bit I also feel like there's some forward motion yes but also slightly some resistance maybe you have not felt really included in this calling um, that could be an issue for some of you if you've been feeling a little bit like left out but you should be showing people how it's done it is going to be a team effort this month and I feel like the rest of March is going to be sort of a balancing act between your private life and your emotions and the people maybe that you associate with at work or family and it does feel a little bit like there's a okay well you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours scenario going on here and then we have change. Okay, falling leaves do not signify the end but the beginning of a fruitful season. Well, to be honest, I do see this as something that you can alter along the way. If you're not happy with your certain situation through collaboration and advice, I think you can start to change the things. Okay, for some reason, it gives me the impression that because we're in spring and autumn in both hemispheres, I feel like there's going to be this sort of shift now, shift of consciousness, shift of um, renewals and, you know, winding downs respectively, because as far as I can see from these two cards, this is about changing your cycle of, or even circle, 
of friendships and stuff like that making sure that if you keep a few, a few people close that you're making sure that you maintain those relationships but it doesn't mean that you have to keep them as they are if it needs a change you can change that because it feels like some of you not all of you have maybe been comfortable in your pattern of rigidity and you know I don't need to change anything well maybe this month the rest of this month is calling you to look at your emotions and say well if that's out of sync anywhere I think maybe you do need to <laughs> change something this could also be somebody who's very creative um so again with that full moon it could be somebody who gives you the inspiration or gives you the yes the pep talk that you need I mean it doesn't have to be a man it can be anybody who's creative artistic understanding of the creative process so I would definitely say you've got some really good things coming through for you Gemini and let me know in the comments below how things go for you but in the meantime I wish you the very the best of luck if you'd like a private reading that's below too and if you'd like to support the channel there's also a way to buy me a coffee but until next time thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you guys soon now we're going to move on to Libra hello Libra all right, so this is going to be for mid-March onwards. Whoa, these cards have been all over the place today. Let's see what's going on. What does Libra need to know from mid-March onwards? What's the message that Libra needs to know from mid-March onwards? Okay, they want to be this one. Okay. All right, so for you, you do have a full moon. Oh. In your first house of self. And that's on the 21st of March. So the full moon in Libra. Very, very interesting as far as I can see here. You have justice and you have the ten of wands. Now what this normally means is that you are going to see some karmic interaction coming in and it may make you feel a little bit burdened. So maybe there's something that you're trying to change and you can't seem to change it. Justice is going to help you. Maybe it's something that you feel it's kind of got away from you recently and you're trying to get that momentum back. But justice in and of itself is about decisions. And it's about that sort of deliverance of not necessarily karma, but something, the effect of your decisions. So for instance, if you decided, right, I'm going to invest all my money into such and such, maybe you're actually going to get some effect now. It could also be that some karmic history is going back just to make sure that you've got rid of it or that you're going to deal with it this time it could also be that you're embroiled in somebody else's karma so it could be that because somebody five years ago did something stupid it's now coming back to them and you're the person that has to deliver that or deal with that so it could also be the things catching up with people i don't feel like it's this for you because this feeling of this card is very much beauty loveliness you know that feeling of okay I've learned everything that I need to learn and I'm prepared to go ahead now but I do feel that the scales need to be balanced a little bit maybe you feel like I've been really hard done to here either by other people universe whatever I feel really hard done to now the thing is I don't think anybody well the universe doesn't owe you something but you can ask the universe for what you want this time. So you can ask the universe for assistance with your moving forwards. But what you need to do is not just obey your intuition, which is what this is about, but also your solar plexus, which is about your sense of self. The Ten of Wands indicates, to me at least, the sense of burden, responsibility. Now, it's almost like you've carried too much and you feel like, look, I need somebody to get this and balance the weighing scales because I've got this 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 you know I really need some help here I need somebody to take the weight off me now it's not saying that you should literally pass things off onto other people but I do think that things will be relieved from you if you ask politely you know things will actually be moved to one side for instance I can't do this deadline I need to move away from it or I need to ask some such and such at my job um, to actually help me do this. You know, it can be the fact that you just need to ask for some help from some colleagues who 
maybe more happy than you realise to actually do this. It can also be a completion of a phase, but you feel very burdened by this completion, like, oh my gosh, all the things that are going to change now, I can't handle it. Yes, you can. You can handle the change. You can handle the alterations that are coming forwards to you. Don't be burdened by your future. Be freed by it. Look forward to it. Maybe five months ago you were hoping, I can't wait for March. Why are you suddenly wishing away March? You know, there's something that seems to be like your past self was probably really, really excited to come into this new phase. So while you're in this phase, make sure that you're taking advantage of the opportunities that's coming through for you. Uncertainty, there we go. The shades of grey within the fog will eventually lift and somebody else had this too this month um basically it says exactly what it means you may be uncertain you may be like oh i don't know why i've got all this burden at the moment i'm cooking all the time or i'm cleaning all the time or i'm doing this all the time everyone's giving me or trying to ask me for advice all the time if you're not certain about where the path is taking you or where the future is going to take you this clarity because of mercury retrograde is definitely a thing it's been in your sixth house of your health so it could be that it's been asking you to kind of wind back and you maybe now you're kind of going oh my god you know i just want to get things over with i want to be healthy i want to you know, carry on i want to see this karma delivered but i can't because of all these health issues this uncertainty is going to lift do not worry if you have been complaining about things how they've been going I completely understand and I assure you that your vitality will return. There will be some energy coming in for you. But don't be afraid to ask for some help in this area. Don't be afraid to go, hey, yo, what's up, universe? I need some help here. Even Mercury, like, can you lessen the load, please, Mercury? I'm feeling really burdened today. Work with them. Or can you just help guide me, help me do this? Whatever you choose to do. I truly feel that you're going to start on the road of possibly a great potential. And I think that there's going to be some environmental changes that you will see coming through for you that will help you and will really change this effect on you. So instead of being maybe burdensome, it'll be re revealing and, and very strong for you. But let me know in the comments below how things go for you, Libra. I do wish you the very best of luck. And if you'd like a private reading, I also do phone consultations. The link as to how to get that is below as well, or to buy me a coffee. But I do wish you the very best of luck. Thank you for joining me. I'll speak to you guys again very soon. And now we're moving on to Aquarius. Hello Aquarius, this will be your reading for mid-March. So we're in the middle of Mercury Retrograde, it's been in your house of money, so let's see how things are going for you in this house, your income and things like that, your speech. So you seem to want to come through and so do you. Then we're going to do one of these cards, what does Aquarius need to know? Well, Mid-March onwards, what does Aquarius need to know for mid-March onwards? Hiding there, there we go. Alrighty. Mm. Prince of Swords and the Five of Hearts, okay. So the Prince of Swords is very much a muse, um, to me at least. Then it also feels like there's a opinion coming through. Maybe you've made some plans. Maybe you're desperate to get them rolling. Maybe you've been overthinking something and now you're really wanting to speed ahead. Either way, this is saying you should be free to do so. The only thing that I will say is that because it's in Mercury retrograde, it may start to push you back a little bit and just say, hang on a minute. 
maybe don't sign it just yet maybe don't jump into this because it can affect travel so if you wanted to travel when this is coming through it can cause some delay but i overall feel like this is going to be a very strong connection for you in your higher practice and in your spiritual development i mean the full moon in libra on the 21st is in your ninth house and this is in your higher education and your guru sort of pilgrimage so it could be that you're looking deeper into yourself this month certainly in the last two weeks but it does feel like there's a motion there's a forward motion maybe you're very eager to put your opinion into the ring maybe you're really quick to go i know the answer to that blah 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 blah, blah. it could even be that you're trying your best to show that you are very positive or show that you're wanting to get things done and i'm great yes i'm here i'm a people person but the thing is something could disappoint you with that so it could be that you leap into a relationship or leap into an agreement a partnership something really quick and then the five of hearts come along and they're like um actually we have some regret here <laughs> so it could be that you don't achieve what you thought you were going to if you literally bush into it but at the same time it could be that you're doing this because you've had some issues before and because you've regretted maybe not doing this exactly th the exact thing so it could be that you're going i'm going to make up for this by jumping in at the deep end with this and i think that that could be very balanced if you time it right it could be very enlightening as well i mean unfortunately with this mercury retrograde people do seem to have a very big connection um with this mercury retrograde because it's affecting mostly everyone and everything but your venus has been in Aquarius well not your independent individual Venus but Venus has been in Aquarius which is your first house of self for most of the month so this is about your money and this is about love so it could be that your appearance your path through life yourself you've given yourself a little bit of an extra pep talk you know you've been saying hey you know I deserve not to feel this way I deserve to be push through and actually feel like I've got somewhere to go I've got somewhere to be I'm really wanting to develop myself and I'm really going to believe in myself until I do achieve what I want to achieve and that's absolutely fine but I think sometimes if you stumble when you just get started you could think oh that's it now you know I, I that's it but you still got opportunities coming so don't focus on the negative if something does happen focus on the positive because this will benefit you if you do focus on the positive i think you're definitely going to get the right angle wow so i did shuffle and you saw that i shuffled and i chose it from the middle of the pack uncertainty came through again now i believe libra had this um or was it gemini i can't remember but the shades of gray within the fog will eventually lift and some of the signs have had this as well make your retrograde is making everything confusing you know, we don't know which way is up, down, back to front. We, we're we a bit all over the place. So I feel like this is just saying, yes, you maybe wanted to run ahead. Maybe having second thoughts, having done that. Maybe you want to do it because you want to get over an X or something. But if you're uncertain about where this path is leading you, where your decisions are going to lead you, how it's going to make you feel, that's going to come to light, I think, maybe around first week of April. So maybe don't make any huge commitments, but you can certainly explore. You know, you're the relative rebels of the Zodiac. And I think this is going to be something that you can get your teeth into with more certainty and confirmation and commitment, maybe around the first week of April. But let me know in the comments below how things go for you. And I hope this helps. And if you'd like a private reading or a phone reading, you can use that by emailing me or all the links are in the below box including how to buy me a coffee but i do wish you the very best of luck take care aquarius and i'll speak to you guys soon Bye bye